Greetings one and all and welcome back to Cities Skylines and of course to the city of Anun where we have recently built a medical clinic. Now naturally I must name this and I've already spoken with Chaotocles. Chaotocles has uh, chosen as it happens a pretty easy name to fit to this. The Cosmo Clinic. There we are Cosmo named for the part-time gamer 6. There we are. The Cosmo Clinic is now open. In fact, the Cosmo Clinic just sent out an ambulance somewhere. I'm fairly certain I saw one anyway. Where did it go? Where did that ambulance go? I'm fairly certain I saw it. Oh, it's over there. Let's follow this ambulance. Ah, no! Come back, you scallywag! There we are. Ah, uh, I could just pause it and hit this. Not much point in following it now. Damn it. Load 100%. But there we are. Perfect. Right. Okay, now in the last episode I mentioned I was going to get started on some districts. There are lots of new buttons that are unlocked for us. First and foremost, we're going to check out some things. Health. Okay, there's one probably six person over here. One one in that household. Three, three in that household. Two, two in that household. Death care. We have no death care, unfortunately. Also, we have no dead people, which is a, a luxury at the moment that we're not going to have for very long, I fancy. Uh, we have education. We've already seen that one garbage. We have now fire. And as you can see, crazy amounts of uh, fire risk across the city. Not good at all. Crime? There are no scallywags living in, in Anun. We need no police. Yet. Well, there's 4% crime. Those are probably very intelligent monkeys. Not actual people. Out of my hands. That's for the various animal police to deal with. Not for, for the people police. No, 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 no. Now, outside... Oh, here we are! Right, this is what I've been looking for. And, as I suspected, we do ha indeed have a little bit of forestry over here. We've also got a... Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. But in our area, pretty much the only place we're going to be able to set up a forestry um, industry is there or down here. Probably not going to set one up down there. And we're really not going to set one up over there. That's going to be industrial. But this... Farmland. Farmland for as far as the eye can see. Glorious. We will see various other things on the map as well. Presence of oil over there. Presence of ore over there so we know where we want to expand. Probably the first expansion though is probably going to be over here so we can make use of this large forested area and also a little bit more farmland. Or maybe over onto the island to make use of that lovely scenery over there. But that is the, uh, the industrial specialization. Finally, districts. Now, we don't actually have any districts. And districts are fantastic. We can specify what a place is going to be used for. For example, if I specified this as one district and then I clicked on this, generic industry. That's what this should be. We shouldn't have anything other than generic industry in here. Now, you paint your districts and the paint tool will snap to the roads. Washington Heights, I don't think so. But uh, it is a little bit finicky to be perfectly honest. So don't worry too much if it goes out of the lines. I mean, if you're pretty good at coloring in, then you'll be good at this. Uh, that's one district. Next, we want to tell this district, you are going to be a... Can I click on this? Oh, it probably doesn't have a specific icon for it. Okay, because that's the default. That makes sense. All right, this is going to be a new district down here. I will rename them in just a moment. And once again, I colored outside the lines. Damn it. I'm actually generally fairly good at colouring in the lines. But then, I generally don't colour in the lines with a mouse. There's another district. Summit Square. That's actually kind of nice. But uh, we'll have another district over there when we're ready. So, now then. To deal with the districts. We'll first deal with Washington Heights. We click there. It's got no specialisation. It's got various policies that we can place in, in here. We are going to be naming this the... Wow, okay. Be Beelzebub... Uh, Beelzebubble... Okay, the Beelzy Bub, uh, Beelzy Bubble Industrial Park. There we go. Named for not intuitively, St uh, Stijin Kroon. There we go. Now we can set individual policies for an industry by industry basis, or we can set the policies for the city as a whole and we will get to that in a moment i just want to rename summit square summit square shall no longer be summit square summit square shall be 
the Rick. Not Ricky. The Rick Eagle Brick Heights. Because, you know, Eagle Heights. It makes sense to me. There we are. Now, there are going to be some policies that I want used across my entire city. Now, the policies are per building, generally speaking. So, for example, energy usage, energy conservation is important. The best way to do it is by installing energy meters in buildings. Moderately reduces electricity consumption and with a, you know, small upkeep of five uh, ultra mega cents per building. Then water usage. We've got uh, cut those shower times in half and guide citizens to more sustainable water usage by installing water meters in buildings. Moderately reduces water consumption. We don't have to worry about water consumption, but power consumption is something that we care about. Smoke detector distribution. Makes citizens' lives safer and the fire department's job easier by installing smoke detectors in buildings. No more will poor cooking skills lead to house fires, at least not as often. Significantly reduces the risk of fire. We're flat out going to put that one across the entire city. Doesn't matter who you are, where you are, you will get a free smoke detector distributed by the fire department that we don't have. That is going to cost me a chunk of money, because we're going to obviously have a lot of lot of buildings. Now, power usage. Water, I'm not as worried about, for the most part. Again, our budget can easily handle us expanding a lot of water. But power, not so, I fancy. I fancy that our power is going to be a bit of an issue. Um, do we have... Oh, it hasn't really shown us how much it's going to cost yet. Let's uh, let some time pass so we can see what we're playing with. Has that updated yet? There we are. 37 Ultra Super Mega Bucks. We can easily afford that. Now, we want to have a look at how much power we're using. We're currently using 17 megawatts. We're producing 23. If we were to go ahead and tell the entire city to uh, try and pull down their power usage, it's going to cost probably the same amount, about another 37. So our policy will bring us up to about 60. Does someone know how much this energy meter consumes electricity? <laughs> That's fantastic. By the way, if you've got an electricity meter in in involved, it's not metering itself. You don't have to worry. I used to work for an energy utility company. <laughs> that happens before the meter. Everything after the meter, that is what you're charged for. But uh, that should actually uh, show up here now. Ooh, that's expensive. 262 super ultra mega bucks. But how is that pulled down power? That's pulled it down by a, a re respectable 4 megawatts. That's half of one of these wind turbines. That's actually pretty nice. But that's only 40 a week, really. Hmm. Later on, that might become a bigger thing. But right now... The amount we're paying for it? I don't think so. We're going to cut that back. We'll, we'll turn that off for now. And then we'll have a look at the budget in a few seconds when it's updated. Oh, well, actually, that's still going up. Okay, okay. We haven't let that settle yet, then, I suppose. Oh, dear. Have you got a fire? Building's on fire. Oh, no! <laughs> got a building fire already! I was faffing around with too many things! We need a fire department right now! Okay. Now the problem is, is this is a this is a pretty bad road for us to have anything on because if something starts there, it's on, it's going to have to make its way up there to turn around. Oh, it's not good. That's not good at all. How about having another one in here? Nope. How about having one there? Possibly. It's not amazing, but it'll do. Um. How about up here? See, it says it won't reach these places, but it will. I knows it. This is the way down. I'm going to have a fire department built along this road. If I absolutely need to, I'll reposition the fire department, because you may have noticed that I can reposition buildings. I'll put a little roundabout here. Um, in fact, that might actually be worth doing anyway. Uh, no. no. We'll put a fire department just about here. And we'll hope that that's going to help everyone. There we are. People are very, very happy now. If we come out of this, the fire department, bloody expensive. 12 grand to place down and 560 super ultra mega bucks per week to run. It's not a cheap thing to have. But if we go to fire department, should have pulled the risk down a little bit. Oh, I'm hoping it will. 
Right, let's see. You you should be sending out your fire truck right now. The city receives its first fire engines. Citizens already feel safer than before. Fireproof. Right, we're going to be following you. The Kent residents, rush! Go faster. That's right. No, don't tip over. Oh, balls. That is a potential problem. Hmm. Okay. Well. Hmm. Not liking that, if I'm perfectly honest with you. I may have to position that a little bit better, or maybe upgrade this road to a two-way, I'm not sure. I do generally prefer having uh, one-way systems. It's generally a little bit better, but look at them. Look at them rushing out there. Pet robots, a huge hit amongst children. Cats and dogs. Well, duh. It combines two of the most awesome things for a child, a pet and a robot. Come on, hurry up. Did you save the house? Coiling in the hose. I, I love how they actually have all these different jobs. Calm down now. What? Don't phase through each other. My goodness. Okay, well, that, that fire was dealt with reasonably well, but... Uh, this now does have... Unfortunate amounts of lights. So... It's going to take you a long bloody time to get back there, isn't it? I'm thinking maybe we should go and take this out from being a uh, one-way system. Hmm. Either that... Well... Yeah, I, th I think perhaps we could try it. I mean, there are traffic lights here at this point. This is a pretty busy intersection there. Pretty busy intersection here. Once you've got traffic lights... You do kind of want to start uh, worrying about it a little bit. This intersection there. Yeah, we could we could upgrade this. Well, it's going to be hard to upgrade it, actually. We'd have to delete it to be able to put down the better road. But, for example, if we could change this into uh, a two-way road, we might find it will be a little bit easier for our fire engines to get around. If there's a fire down there, I'm a little bit concerned. Quite a lot concerned, actually. Hmm. Well, we could possibly upgrade this to a six-lane road. I don't think we really need a six-lane road, though. I mean, wow. It's enough that we've got uh, a four-lane road. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I think we we are going to change this as much as I like having it there. It's probably worth experimenting. Though, having said that, let me just check on the congestion at the moment. It's handling the congestion really well. No. Okay. What we're going to do then is we're going to move this off that road. We're going to have a separate road for it. We're going to be using this. It's a two-lane gravel road. A low, a two-lane gravel road suitable as a service road supports low traffic. Now, hopefully, a fire department is going to count as pretty low traffic. So, we're going to put that there, draw this road out down here, so these guys can uh, immediately exit here, get on this road. No one else is really going to be coming down here. That will probably be a bit better for everyone, though that said... Probably not have it quite so close, because I don't want my junctions too close together. Let's place it down here instead. There we go. Now, this is how you move a building. You click on this, relocate building, it usually will cost something. Not enough money. It'll cost me 2,400, so that's fine. We'll uh, allow some time to pass. As soon as I've got 2,400... My cat was just saved by a smoke detector! Thank you, fire department! Fire department is me <sighs> I suppose they handed it out. I was the one who told them to, though. Damn it. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. We'll place the fire department just about here. There. That'll be better because they can get in and off that, this road, go to in either direction as soon as they need to. But it does mean I'm going to have to extend the water just slightly to cover it. So we'll bring the water down to about there. 
And the power we're going to need to bring across. Uh, you know what? We'll bring the power up from here, I'm thinking. Or maybe, actually, we could place it there and draw it out to around here. Yeah, okay. Let some more time pass. Get a little bit of money. We haven't got a huge amount of money at the moment. But it's fine. Let's get that there. There we go. Fire department is now fully operational. As you can see, these houses there are very low risk of fire now. Not so with these ones, unfortunately. And that's uh, largely due to these roads. I do fancy that we may want to change that, actually. Perhaps have this as a one-way street? Mm, possibly. Possibly, possibly, possibly. I mean, they can get up there pretty well, because they can immediately go up there. But down here is the problem. But if I replace this with a, a, a two-way road, I'll probably do the same for up there as well. Now... We want to uh, name this fire department, don't we? This firehouse shall be, from henceforth, known as the Eternally Lost... Oh, dear. The Eternally Lost Kitten Sanctuary. Because, hopefully, they're going to spend most of the time not putting out fires, but instead rescuing stray cats. That is all I can hope, is that... Uh, this little, the, the, the city of Anoon will just not be plagued by fires, so our fire department's going to have to find other things to do. Now then, we are going to want a whole new section down here, but let's check on our budget. How much is this costing? Wow, 972 weekly policy expense. Those smoke detectors are bloody expensive. Um, well, hazard is still 36. That's crazy. We definitely need some more buildings then. So, let's get to work. And let's have the beginning of the of a one-way system. Uh, should I go with that or not? I mean, this one's already having a little bit of trouble. Perhaps we can experiment with this one. We'll go with the, uh, a two-way system instead. And we'll have it probably curve off, I think. Move down there and then come back up. Yes, I think I like that. So we'll start here. Bring it down to about there. Then swap to a curved road. Bring this down to about here. And then we kind of want this to... No, okay. We'll take that back up to here instead. There we go. I need this to be going down along about there, I would say. There we go. And then bring that down. Not enough money anymore. Drat. I won't spend all of my mega millions. Or my mega hundreds. We'll wait for a second. There's another fire! Well done in putting that out. You seem to be doing pretty good with the putting out the fires, even though this one-way system, actually. Mm. I mean, it does seem to uh, keep the tra traffic flowing nice and steady. I'm looking for an apartment or house in the city. Anything will do. Please be here for further contact. Ah, uh, if that was a hint... Um, well, I suppose I'm listening to it. I was going to say I'm just not going to make any houses now because you're nagging me, but I suppose that would kind of be chewing my own nose off to spite my face, considering how badly I need all of your money. All right, then. Let's twist up this way. Bring this down to about here, I would say. Oh, not quite. It's a lot of money involved there. Yeah, let's uh, bring it down to here. Then have a nice curved road there and across. I think that'll look okay. There we go. Got a nice little uh, new residential district ready to be set up over here. Now then, how are we going to set this one up? Let's make sure that all the roads look okay. That's a little bit of a steep climb all of a sudden, but uh, you can deal with it, I'm sure. Perhaps I could delete this part of the road and then place that down a little bit better. Hmm. Let's try. I know I just spent all of that money, but I would prefer to have a better road than lots of money. Uh, let's bring it down to here and then twist it around. No. Well, I can see what I can do, though. Oh, that looks good. Now, is that a bit of a... Uh, ah, that's a much gentler climb. That's... Uh, that's okay there. All right, you know that'll, that'll be okay for our, our drivers, I'm sure. 
There. Now then, we want some more roads down here, obviously. This is going to be some prime, you know, lakefront, some waterfront property right here. We'll set all of this up as uh, residential right now. And we'll place some more further up then. We're probably going to want some shops up here as well. Uh, we'll take that all the way up there. We are probably going to need some shops. Just a couple of corner shops, you know. In fact, let's get rid of this because we'll probably have some roads breaking off there. Okay, that looks nice. I like the look of that. And in fact, we'll take that one away as well because we'll draw a road out there. All right, we're going to need some power over here too. That's going to be expensive though. Um, unless... No, we can't afford to have anything else. We're going to have to let some time pass. I imagine they're going to start moving in quickly, which is a shame because I really need to get power up there first. We're going to have to get this power across from here, which is a bit of a pain for us. Let's see how we're doing for power. Yeah, 19 out of 23. We can live with that. Let's get this across the way. It's very expensive to do. But it's worth doing. That is, rather than building a new power plant over on this side specifically to, to power these guys. What's wrong with our garbage collection service? Trash is piling up and it's swarming with flies. Oh no! What, really? Abandoned properties? Crimes? Oh no, scallywags have moved in! Scallywaggery! Enormous amounts of scallywaggery! Oh, drat. Hmm. Double drat! They found us at last! Okay, well, as much as I said I wasn't going to, I was going to try and not take out loans, we do need some more. We can get this one now, but we're going to take a 20 grand loan and pay that off as soon as we can. In total, we're going to be paying back an extra grand. I mean, you know, it's dead money. I firmly believe that any kind of loan is dead money. You're paying for being in debt, and I, I really can't abide by that, but uh, at least we've got power over to these guys now. We'll get some water over there next. Now, the water pump, probably going to be easier for us to take the pump across here. That's expensive, though. So expensive. There we go. But we'll connect up connect up with this road there. Now, the thing with this is this whole area is going to be uh, residential in time. Right now, though, it is not. Uh, we'll bring this down to about here, then try and follow the road all the way down. To about there. And then up. Okay, that, was, uh, that actually worked out better than I was expecting. Right, there we go. We've got our new area with water and power. That's important. We are going to increase the budget for our trash collection. Up to about... 80%. Water, how are we doing on water? Water is getting really close now, so we need to uh, pump the water budget up a fair bit. We'll take that up to 80% as well. Fire department... Uh, I'll leave you as is, because we've got quite a high risk of fire right now. Hmm. I really don't like that risk of fire. I'm probably going to have to upgrade these roads, or rather change these roads to two ways in the end. Next up, though, we want a police department. Now, generally speaking, we don't have too much of a problem. <laughs> I was going to say we don't have too much of a problem with scallywags, but they're all over the place. It's just a couple of scallywags making everyone think about scallywags. That's what it is. Right, we want this to be about here. It's going to cost me most of the remainder of my money. In fact, all of the remainder of my money. Uh, so we're not going to place that just yet. We're going to wait for a little bit of a buffer so I don't go into debt straight away. I don't want to have that shopping plaza. That is like a badge of dishonor. Uh, can we even afford to run this? 480 a week. We can't, actually. Not until we get a lot more houses down here. No, our money is going down sharpish. At this rate, it'll be pretty bad. But I fancy it's because maybe everyone is worried about the uh, police. Or the, rather, the lack of them. Let's go ahead and place this. And hope that that was the right move. 
Also, let's adjust taxes. I'm sorry, everyone. I really am. But I'm going to increase the taxes slightly to pay for all of these extra things I'm getting you. Uh, I'm going to increase these two by a little bit less. There we go. Go. Go forth, police. You are needed. Let's follow you around. There we go. Work shift. Get out there. Stop crimes. Oh, no. You're, you're blocking an ambulance. Okay. Okay, are, are these... The police are just... Uh, putting everyone's minds at rest. That there is a police presence nearby. Oh, okay, I see how that works. It's not like in SimCity 5 where you literally just go out to catch someone. But rather, you are patrolling the area. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, fire engines on the way. Okay. Now you're going to check out down here. I approve. There's another one. Why are you going to the same place? You fools. You've only done 50% of your work shift as well. Okay. Right. Well, we need a new name for this area. And this police station shall be named the Tartan for George's Biburly. The Tartan... Um, the Scallywag... Oh, we can't have house. Scallywag Collection Home. No, nah, home is too soft a word. Uh, we'll just call it the Tartan Scallywag Collection. That'll have to be good enough. Right, okay. How's everything doing? How are we for power? We're in the, the, the yellow zone for power. We're pretty good on, on water, though. So we can probably pull that back just slightly. Let's pull that down to 70% then. How are we doing for... Bins, that's good. Uh, health. Wow. You're actually remarkably healthy, considering. Uh, we've got fire. Still a fair risk. But as long as our fire engine can get to them, I guess it doesn't actually matter that much in a way. Um... It's just that this they prevent the risk to the ones that they can actually get to, whereas they will react to the risk to the ones they can't quite reach. That makes a lot of sense. You've uh, reduced the scallywag problem considerably. You can't quite... You need to get out there soon. Now, the other thing we haven't done. We've got no learning. There is no house of learning here. I can't abide by this. We need to educate our, our citizens. And the proper ways to uh, notice scallywags and how to report them to the authorities. Oh, you know what? This looks lovely up here. I like the way this is happening. We've got tears, and I think I'm going to try and uh, encourage that to continue. And we will do this by having another road here branching off. No, we don't want it to be curved. I want it to come out to about there. Actually, let's take it out to two layers, maybe. Hmm. We want to give them ample room. Let's go for a curve. Out to about there. Of down. Nah, I, I don't want the curve to be going the different way. So. From here, we come out a little bit more. If I were to drag this in a bit, would it work? No. No, it wouldn't. Okay, well, we'll just have to accept the overlap that's going to happen there. We'll drag this road most of the way down. It's an expensive road, this one. But we'll bring that down there, and then we'll have another curving road going down there to follow this kind of thing. And we'll try and build up a several tiers of different houses. I think that's what we're going to aim for in the next episode, though. We will also mark this area out as a new district and name it then. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope you will be joining me for the next one. We're going to need a little bit more power. We'll have a new district. We'll also add some commercial up here as well. We're probably going to have to start doubling up some of the uh, services. Maybe the medical, I'm not sure, but certainly the fire at the very least. But that obviously comes in when we've got enough money. But uh, that is it from me and from everyone in Anun. But until next time, and as always, do take care.